Yo, how's it going guys? In today's video I'm talking about signs, I'm revealing seven signs that you are still a man child. Some of these signs, I'm going to read them out to you and they're going to sting. And the degree to which they sting is the degree to which part of you realises that it resonates with you, that it applies to you. Uh, so watch out in this video, the signs I'm going to read to you, watch out for an emotional response. First of all, what is a man-child? When you're a man-child, you have the psychology of a child, although you may have the body of an adult. Psychologically, you are still dependent upon the other, dependent upon something. You want, you're not independent yet, you don't trust yourself, and this manifests itself as a bunch of different ways, in a, in a bunch of different ways. Why does this happen? Culturally, one reason for it is that we no longer have an emphasis on an initiation ritual. Ancient cultures, for masculinity, to move from the state of boyhood to manhood, there was an, an initiation ritual. In this culture now, in, the Western, in Western society, we've all but lost this altogether. There is no defined initiation ritual. And you'll see adolescent boys, they will often seek this out, although it'd be a chaotic version of it. There'll be a lot of adolescents fighting, um, there was a lot of daring going off, there's a lot of um, one-upmanship amongst, uh, amongst teenage boys, you'll notice this. That's an attempt to find some sort of initiation ritual uh, where they're not being provided any. That's one reason. Another reason is that your parents, the upbringing, the area, the um, upbringing that you were, um, you experienced growing up, if your parents were children, psychologically children, children cannot raise adults. So if your parents were satisfying some emotional need using you, and they often they may have done this unconsciously completely, then you are not going to develop into a healthy adult. Another thing that I can't help but feel that is a is an is a, a contributing factor to this is that there is an excessive amount of comfort in this society. Material comfort. There isn't an emphasis on challenge, and there isn't an emphasis on going out and confronting difficult and uncertain stuff. We often take the line of least resistance. And this is what children tend to do, okay? Um, but as adults, we, we shape and mold ourselves into, into a person who can go out there and create and challenge and overcome. Um, unless we're pushed to do this, we won't do it voluntarily, unless we have a good reason. Uh, and if we've never been provided a good reason, then that won't happen, will it? Okay, so those are the potential reasons, and this is obviously a very complex issue. So those are the three reasons that I came up with, on the cuff, really. Uh, now, these are the signs, the seven signs I've come up with, that you are a man-child. Number one, an excessive desire for romantic and sexual approval. This is akin to you wanting some sort of approval or recognition or attention from the mother, okay? Obviously, I'm still speaking to men here. It's you wanting um, you, you still having that connection to the mother figure, yeah? So if you want sex, you want approval, you want affection all the time, excessively, obviously you've still got needs, but if you want this disproportionately and it's affecting your life, and it's making you very needy and insecure, it's likely that you have some sort of attachment to the mother still, and this needs to be severed um, for you to be psychologically independent. Number two, indecisiveness. You don't trust yourself. So, so I've just seen a rat run down underneath my window. That's, that's strange. Um, sorry, indecisiveness. So you don't trust yourself. So any decision you make, you think is gonna go wrong. Kids, generally speaking, are quite floaty, quite indecisive. They'll experiment with something, then they'll move on to something else. Uh, but if you put a lot of responsibility on, on a child, oftentimes it overwhelms, yeah? Uh, and if you experience this, this in yourself, it's the same thing. Number three, a lack of trust in oneself. Similar to the indecisiveness before, you don't trust yourself. You don't trust the you can ask yourself something and you don't believe yourself and you don't trust that you can do things in the world as much as an adult. You think that it's all gonna go, go to pot eventually. So this manifests itself in you um, being indecisive and, and the rest of it. Number four is you should struggle to accept responsibility for yourself. Children have pretty fragile egos. Children take everything personally. When you take responsibility for yourself, that means accepting blame, that means apologizing. This means you need to sacrifice your ego. The ego needs to be tested and the ego needs to be um, broken down and rebuilt again. Um, but if the ego is very fragile and can't take it, then you, it's not gonna be allowed to take responsibility. It's not gonna happen. Um, so in a child, in a, in a man, with a man child, you will um, struggle to accept responsibility because you still have the ego of a child, which is very fragile. 
Number five, in relation to that, you take everything personally. Okay, something comes up, you assess what it means in relation to you. Did I do something wrong? Um, you don't accept that you, as an adult, are part of a great interweb of reality in life and that you are actually relatively insignificant. Um, so you take everything personally and the ego, with it being as fragile as it is, always seeks to repair itself because it's always being damaged, yeah. Number six, you're afraid of commitment, okay? You're afraid to commit to something long term because commitment means responsibility, yeah? You take responsibility the more you commit to something, the more that is demanded of you. And because we mentioned earlier, as we mentioned earlier, you place a lot of responsibility on a child, it can be quite overwhelming at times. So you struggle. So you, you'd rather not commit. You'd rather just commit a little bit over here, a little bit over here, a little bit over here. That's in relationships, that's in career, that's in everything, yeah? Number seven, and last one, you're emotionally volatile. You throw tan tantrums as a means of getting your, getting your needs met. If your needs aren't met, you struggle to set boundaries, you struggle to, struggle to ask for what you want in a healthy adult manner. You expect that people just know what you want, and if they don't give you what you want, you throw a tantrum without clearly communicating it. Because when you clearly communicate something, you make yourself vulnerable. And to a child, being vulnerable is tantamount to a kind of threat of death, really. Signs that you're a man-child, all seven. One, excessive desire for romantic and sexual approval. Two, indecisiveness. Three, lack of trust in oneself. Four, struggle to accept responsibility for yourself. Five, you take everything personally. Six, you're afraid of commitment and you're quite floaty. And number seven, you're emotionally volatile. Now, it is worth mentioning that these are just potential signs that you're a man-child, that you struggle with these things, right? It's not, it, this is not just a, a definitive, this is my problem, this is exactly what I'm facing. I just thought I'd write a bunch of things down and see if you could put two and two together. And this subject itself is very, this subject is very personal to me because it's one thing I've noticed over the past five years is, a, is, is some of these symptoms, experience, I'm experiencing it in my own life. And this past year, I've taken massive steps towards manhood. While I don't feel like, like I'm there yet, I definitely have taken great leaps forward in that way. So um, I hope this has helped, guys. I really do hope uh, this has helped you. And uh, sorry if I spoke really quickly in this video. Um, because I noticed as I was filming it, I was, I was in flow and I was looking at the screen on my camera and I had like seven minutes to get it down before the camera cut out. Um, but I cleared some data and carried on, so, so that's the reason. Um, so guys, that's it. That's the video for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, then please click the like button and subscribe to the channel. And also guys, if you check in the, um, the, the, the video description below, there's a free guided meditation that I've put out there for you guys to give a go with give a go with for, t for you to try out. I also have recently just started a free Facebook group where we can share ideas, uh, discuss certain things and, and build a kind of community in a tribe, which is really cool. Um, and that's pretty much it. If you also want to have a, a free 15 minute call with me guys, then please uh, do book that. It's a free 15 minute call where we can talk about you, your health, your wellbeing, your mindset goals. I'm a coach, so I can help you out with whatever, whatever you need help with. Um, that's relevant, of course. <laughs> All right, that's the video, guys. Take care of yourselves. Peace.